Hello, this is Lise Marianne here showing you my five first cards using the April uh, My Monthly Hero card kit. The first thing that hit me when I saw the kit was the lovely bridge, which made me think about uh, a Norwegian folk tale that every child in Norway has grown up with. Uh, so I just had to start making a scene using the Venice kit for Norwegian folktale card. <laughs> uh, and um, I'm using, I had to add a few uh, dice to make it happen. Uh, so I started with the Janine's Art Winter Sports uh, dice um, and both the the mountain and also the uh, trees are from that company. So I'm using Distress Oxide inks in various colors to uh, color my hills and also the mountain. I backed the mountain using white paper to create some snow in the mountains, which is what we have here in the summertime as well. Um, I'm trying to vary the colors on the different hills to make some yeah, different uh, views. I'm also using um, the water uh, that I'm, I think is supposed to be horizontal, but I'm making a river using them. These are from the kit. Um, and I'm using Hero Arts uh, glitter paper that we got in a previous kit for to back the water. And as you will see, I, <laughs> I have to uh, cut the river myself so um, I ha have quite difficult uh, I have quite difficult time to uh, decide where the river should run and there is the the sweet sweet uh, bridge that inspired me so much And now for the undecisiveness. <laughs> maybe that way, or maybe that way, or maybe even that way. Who knows? You can still see the seams where the water meets another water die cut, but I think it's all right. The story is about uh, three goats going up the hills to be for the summer. But when they walk across a bridge on their way, they meet a terrible, terrible troll. And the uh, story goes that the first the little one tries but he says to the troll that if you wait for my brother, the big one, he's more tastier than me. So when the third um, goat comes, <laughs> the third uh, goat sticks out the eyes of the troll, it kills him. So it's <laughs> It's a quite violent fairy tale for a child. <laughs> I had to extend the uh, the bridge a bit to make it reach across my card.
Now I'm drawing on some stones using uh, warm grey Copic markers. I think I'm using just one color uh, for this. And these uh, trees are also from Janine's art. I'm cutting these apart to make a cluster of three trees uh, to the left and also a few trees uh, near the bridge. I think it's quite funny that <laughs> the first thing I thought of when I when I uh, saw the kit was something so different from what it was supposed to be. <laughs> the next cards are more of an like. Now for my goats, I have uh, drawn them freehand and colored them using uh, warm grays um, in my Copic markers. Now I'm fussy cutting them, or I think I'm going to glue them on the bridge first and then um, fussy cut them. Like that. I cut off the uh, railing on the bridge to position them behind the goats. That way they didn't get hidden by the rails. Railings, rails. I don't know. I'm not English. <laughs> And my, um, my card uh, ended up like this, for, um, I'm, I lost a bit of footage <laughs> and there is a still photo of the card. And now on to the second card. This is a more Venice-like, a very romantic card. I, I think this card might have to be a kind of a card for someone you love. I think so. <laughs> Again, I'm using Distress Oxides to make my scene, my sky using purple and blues make a cool um, night sky my picket fence brushes is, is so lovely I I can imagine using anything else now after I got them <laughs> So I'm coloring the water again, and this time I'm using Distress Oxides behind them. Like this. My son I thought it was ice, but I'm not sure they have so much ice in Venice. <laughs> and I cut a uh, um, bridge myself freehand uh, to make the foreground in the card. And also the houses. Here I have found um, 
some tree leaves from a previous kit. I think it's May 2018, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm stamping those. And now it's always quite romantic, isn't it? <laughs> I want to go there. So I'm finding a sentiment which goes thinking of you oh I really really want to go to Venice sometime I imagine it is so lovely I love Italy. Been there a couple of times. So now I need some people in love. So I'm stamping the boy and the girl from the, uh, the same kit as the tree. Oh, I'm quite sure it's May 2018. I want them to run across the bridge holding each other's hands, being in love. <laughs> I'm popping the bridge and the buildings up on some foam to create some dimension in my card. Now it's time for the couple in love. I had to cut out of them <laughs> their feet. Maybe not that romantic. <laughs> I'm popping them up as well. Them, coloring them a bit more black with my pen. I'm using a white card base for this um, card, but I'm not showing the card base on the front of the card. That is a close up. I really like this one. My third card is using the tall buildings from the kit. I find these quite challenging, uh, maybe because I've seen so many beautiful uh, cards where people have used them, so I'm quite intimidated, <laughs> intimidated by them. Uh, but I've quite hastily and yeah, not so particularly nice color them <laughs> uh, with my Copic markers. Um, quite messy coloring. Um, but I think it's okay in a way. I ended up liking this card. I cut the footage of the coloring process because it was so long. We would have been here looking and looking and looking for ages if I were to show you the process. Um, I used quite a few buildings and now I'm stamping the chow. Um, sentiment and the birds up in the sky. I also used uh, the water again 
this time with the same um, paper color as the water itself. So it's only dimension, not color uh, difference. I'm using the purple. Is it purple? Yeah, I'm calling it purple. <laughs> uh, as card base. Uh, it matches the building in the back, so it's nice. That's my card. And then it's my fourth card already. For this card I wanted something very muted because I've had such uh, bright colored cards earlier so I I wanted to use this well vellum as kind of a to create some fog maybe I don't know if they have fog in Venice <laughs> it's fog in my card I'm stamping some um, uh, and uh, embossing some clouds in the sky to create some dim dimension again something behind and something in front of the vellum the embossing powder is from Hero Arts just plain white uh, have this glitter strip, gold glitter, uh, behind where I'm going to put my sentiment. I'm using the gondola guy uh, in white uh, in front of the card and gluing the vellum onto the card. Now for my sentiment. So I'm stamping Life is Beautiful. I've done some surgery on my stamp. Cutting it away from the La Vita e Bella. can easily put them together if I want to use them together later. Now I'm gluing on my sentiment and uh, having a glittery mat before gluing it onto my card base which is light blue. And that's my fourth card. Now for the last card in this part of the video. For this card I wanted to use a um, die from Uniquely Creative um, being um, a phone, an iPhone I think. Um, so I wanted to create a scene which is like a picture inside a phone, on a phone screen. So the panel is tiny for this card. Uh, I have cut the pieces from different um, papers from the kit and also uh, the grey one, the bridge one, uh, is from my stash. And also the black one, which the gondola guy again. <laughs> there he is. The bridge is uh, barely fitting uh, for my my scene. So this is my die cut, the phone die cut. 
So I'm covering the, uh, or backing the phone with some acetate. Not because I'm going to use it as a shaker or something, but the shine from the acetate makes it more phone-like, I think. It looks like, like a screen. For my card base, I'm using a white card base. Uh, or card panel, a bigger panel. Um, which I'm gluing some pattern paper on half of it. And now I'm finding my stamps, which I will use. I'm creating a background um, using the postage stamp in a light grey hero art. Um, oh, I'm forgetting the name of the, the ink. Um, I don't think I will remember it right now. So I'm stamping it all over to create a nice background. And now I'm using the other part of the stamp which I did some surgery on. La Vita I bet. I'm gluing my scene behind my my phone I'm gluing my card onto the card base and after I had uh, film <laughs> film this I glued on some sequins as well to create some extra shine and now I'm thanking you for listening and watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!